This scrap of moon rock was supposedly blown out of the moon long ago and landed in the Amman Desert as a meteorite. It was purchased from a French collector to give away as our Apollo competition prize. To make absolutely sure that it was a genuine moon rock, we decided to take it to the Open University in the UK to get it analysed. Okay, very shiny, polished surface, which would be due to weathering, where it's sat in the desert. And on the other surface, yeah, you can see some mineral grains in there. It's very dark. Everything about it suggests that it's a, 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 a genuine meteorite. Obviously, we need to do a few things to authenticate that. The sample was taken to this lab for an analysis that would provide one important clue. We use a vanishingly small amount of material, up to two milligrams, and we extract the oxygen from it and measure it on a mass spectrometer. And that's usually diagnostic of uh, whether or not it's extraterrestrial. The oxygen isotope results were fully consistent with it being a bit of the moon. For another test, a small piece had to be removed from the sample and mounted in an epoxy resin. This is what it looked like under an electron microscope. The large bright areas show where it melted on impact. The texture proved to be identical to another sample thought to be from the same meteorite. Chemical analysis also revealed typical lunar signatures, such as a low sodium content. Following the tests that we've uh, run on the sample, we can finally say with 100% certainty that this is a lunar meteorite, so this is in fact a piece of the moon.